when I go through this resume, what I want to do is quickly skim through it and figure out like what stands out, what I would do looking at this resume if this came across my desk. And then after I talk about those first impressions, I want to dive in deep and try to figure out like different ways to really uh, hone in and help make this resume better. All right, Alec. So first things first, this is three pages. It's not actually three pages. It's actually a third empty page. So this is just a note for everyone. Always send your resume and cover letters or whatever as a PDF. Because what ends up happening is when you save it as a PDF, you control like how the formatting looks. Like if you make it in Google Doc and you send it to someone and, and they open it in like Microsoft Word, or if you send a Microsoft Word document and they open it up in Google Drive, you never know what the formatting, what's going to happen with the formatting. But with PDF, like once you save it and export it, it looks this way, right? So I'm guessing with this one, something weird happened, happened in the conversion where you have a third blank page. If I wanted to print this out and I got a third blank page, like that's kind of weird. If I printed this out, think this was only one page, the second page might get lost. Oh, and if there was like an actual overflow of information onto here, like I might have lost, lost that or might not have seen it. First things first, I think anyone that's watched these, my first gripe is it's two pages. Be one page. Second thing, uh, formatting's clean. It's kind of boring, but that's okay. Especially if you're not doing, if you're not applying for something that's like graphic design, I'm not gonna really knock you for that, right? But to make yours stand out, when I see like 10 of these, you could add color, like Christie's. You could, you can even find like a template resume online. Looks like there's a ton of work experience. I see some uh, League of Legends. I see Golden Guardians. That's really cool. I don't know who these are. And then, oh, there's a lot of text here. There's a lot of bullet points, qualifications and highlights, education. Okay, cool, relevant experience. So like right from the bat, I'm just like, oh, this is real, this is a lot. And I like don't necessarily want to read it. And then what's going to end up happening is there's no executive summary. So what's going to happen is I'm going to look at the top thing. And if I'm not convinced from this top thing or my skimming, I'm going to be like, I might not read the whole resume. What my eye would go to is like, oh, Golden Guardians. Whether I'm part of Golden Guardians or not, I'm like, oh, that's an esports organization. Let's see what they did. Esports organization, Detroit, Michigan, event staff, uh, summer 2019. Work temporary assignment at 2019 summer finals for LCS. Okay, that's cool, but that doesn't tell me what, like, what you did. That should be like, that's just a repeat of your responsibility here, right? Right pre-event to help unload and set up, run booth for a pre-event. Uh, arrived, ran, interacted. All past tense. That needs to always happen. Interactive plans to promote merchandise. Okay, so, oh, so this is a volunteer job where, you know, Golden Guardians probably just needed extra people. I do know that, so I think I, I'm trying to pretend like I would assume that with no information, but I do actually know that because I, I also helped him uh, get this, <laughs> this volunteer. Oh, actually, sorry, it wasn't volunteer, it was paid. Okay, so like, that is where I'm going. And then I'm like, what is Edna Supply orders? Okay, this is like not esports stuff. I am okay, and then I would go back to League of Legends podcast host coach. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's see, blah blah blah. Read this, and I'd be like, okay. From there, I'd be like, decide whether or not I want to read the rest of your resume. Uh, I don't really have any context to this resume. I don't know what you're applying for. I don't know what you're what you care about, what you're passionate about. So uh, I'm a suit. That, that's where I don't know where the direction of this resume is going because it's just a lot here. Okay. So my goal here is to make you look as good as possible, to bring out your true self, and cut this down. All right, so work experience. League of Legends and of this podcast. One formatting thing I think would be important is to try to align left with some things and align right because this is a lot of text. Uh, I don't care where it is. I don't necessarily care about the location. I don't think it's important. Um, what's important is what you did. Podcast host and coach. Okay. Involved in weekly recordings aimed at teaching players. So that tells me a little bit about the podcast. Create social media posts to promote podcasts and interact with fans. Okay. Stay knowledgeable and current in an ever-changing game. Lead and organize community weekly games. Plan and facilitate coaching sessions for players. Manage podcast setup and successful live presentation, recording, and later upload. Okay, so this was interesting because I looked a little bit into it, and I noticed some of this stuff isn't happening. Right, I looked at Twitter, and there weren't many social media posts. 
or interaction with fans. Uh, I also looked at the podcast setup, and it's tricky because it doesn't. It's kind of was left off where I put it, and it doesn't look good. <laughs> Yeah, so I already know, like, this is kind of fluffy, but that's because I already know, right? And depending on the job you're applying for, some of this doesn't matter. If you're, this coaching stuff might not matter. Uh, and I don't see, again, the impact of what you did. So involved in weekly recording, recording aimed at teaching players. Like, that's informative, but that doesn't tell me much. Like, it, all what I'm getting here is like, okay, you kind of stay up to date and you're, you're a content creator and maybe or may not you're someone that actually has a following or not, right? So instead you could, I would put some stuff that's here like, hey, created a podcast or a part of a podcast that live streams to this many people that watches this many or th this big of an audience, right? Or this big of a discord or how many coaching sessions you've had or how, what the success of the coaching sessions you've had, right? Help uh, multiple players climb from bronze to gold or like on average climb up like two divisions or three tiers or something like that, right? If you wanted to talk about your coaching. Yeah, I think this one, this is a good bullet point. Yeah. See, yeah, the problem is with this again, it's like you're putting together all the things that you've done or all your responsibilities. So there's no focus because honestly, being part of the Lola and doing this stuff, there's a lot of random things you're doing. So if you know what you're trying to focus on, like, hey, I want to be a content creator, you should focus on the content stuff. You need to make sure the content shows that. If I look up League of Legends Anonymous podcast, and this was one of the reasons why I quit Lola is that it wasn't something that I could put on my resume that I was like, that would show the profession professionalism that I wanted because it was really a hobby thing and it was fun, but I had trouble controlling like the quality of the graphics or the quality of the content that we covered or how consistent we were or the growth of it. Right. Because again, we weren't really focused on that. So if you really want to show that you're, you want to prove that you know how to do social media stuff, like I would start creating really good social media posts. Right. And that's kind of what I did. I started creating social media posts or small clips of our actual pot, like two hour long podcast. So that's where I would start thinking about like how you could actually cater your experience to make it better for the future for the goal that you have, which I think I don't see a goal in this resume yet. So that's another way that's gonna trim this down a lot. Work temporary assignment, arrive pre-event to help unload, run booth for pre-event. So, okay. So again, these are like, if I said, hey, we need someone to staff the event that we're pulling. Um, These are the four things that you needed to be able to do or three things that you need to be able to do. That's what this is. Instead, I, would, I think you need to shape yourself towards certain responsibilities or like the job that you're looking for. I think if you're talking about, if you want to run live events, you need to put yourself as someone that helped run a live event. You know, I would say something like help set up. Yeah. Help set up multiple booths for a tailgating event for the LCS summer finals interacted with fans to help promote merchandise and golden guardian brand values or something like that yeah this was just this was just the one tailgate event maybe a weekend two days or one day that one's a little tricky so again this is kind of tricky because it's a it is relatively a simple thing just coming in there i keep, i think i've said volunteer multiple times it's not it wasn't volunteer it was paid but this is a very simple one-time thing so then it's like, is this worth putting on your resume? And I think for you, you don't have much esports experience. So therefore you need to put it on your resume. But was it something impressive enough to get you an interview or hired? And that's the thing. Like, I think what this resume lacks is proof that you have enough work experience in esports, right? So I think that's, that's the biggest crutch of this resume. So, so I guess the conclusion is go find more work, right? And maybe this stuff that's not esports related will show that you are a capable person. So we'll, we'll just jump into that then. And a supply plumbing supplier distributor order, picking, receiving order, picker and receiving utilize software to verify orders and receiving 
Chairman of the Safety Committee, trained and certified forklift operator. Okay, so you have a certification or you've had training that you're allowed to drive a forklift because not everyone can drive a forklift if you're not aware. That's cool, but that has n that is not going to get you a job <laughs> or esports job, right? So that's that's tricky, unless you're like working in a warehouse. So that that can go. Prepared orders in a timely and accurate manner for shipment. That can be related. That shows you know how to do a specific job that can be uh, translated into esports somehow. Prevent shipping and inventory areas through verifying own work. So this is this is kind of weird because it's just saying like, hey, I double check my work. Independently complete a daily task without direction or continual supervision. So this is just saying like, I do my job independently. So again, I think these are, these just feel really fluffy to me. And I don't, I think there are different ways to wordsmith this one better. I think the chairman of safety and committee, like that's really cool. And I want to know more about that. Like what did that entail? What were those responsibilities? What did you do from that? And like, maybe this one, this is something where you're like, I put together procedures that everyone has to follow, a hundred people have to follow, and therefore reduced, uh, I don't want to say casualties, <laughs> reduced, um, oh yeah, reduced safety incidents, you know? Uh, that That's cool. And I can see that being related to a job outside of eSports. Yeah, so you gotta make sure that whatever bullet points you put in here, there's a reason for that in here that will relate to the specific job you're posting, right? IMS supply, contingent blah, 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 like as an esports person, as an engineer, this is kind of interesting to me. As an esports person, I would be like, okay, I don't care about, like this is really fluffy, that's gonna make me bored and I don't understand what it's saying, right? Potentially as an esports person. Warehouse manager shipping. Okay, so you're, did, you're a manager here and you deal with data. That's what I'd be thinking as an esports person. Train new employees and system. That's cool. Responsible for timely and accurate documentation. That's cool. Supervision of warehouse employees. That's cool. Plan daily job tasks for employees. So very similar bullet points there. Let's operate forklift. Hello. Okay, so there's a lot of bullet points here. And again, this is just a list of responsibilities and tasks that you have with the job. So really make sure you hone in what you want to highlight, what's going to be important for esports. Uh, and to sell yourself. This reminds me of a skills. Yeah, like skills. And then you list skills with a lot of comments and stuff. And I did not realize that this is further job experience, right? First, you need a space between all of those or a bullet point or something because this just looks like a paragraph at first. And I cannot, this is really, really hard to read. Qualification and highlights. Trained to legally sense. handle sensitive and confidential employee information. Teamwork, prioritize, uh, knows how to put work with people, dependable. To me, this is like, this is what your resume is. This is what you want to prove in your resume. And you did it quickly and eloquently versus putting it in all this information. But again, this is really, really focused on your actual resume or your resume outside of esports. So this is a really weird section that you put into, I think you should put it into a small paragraph or an executive summary, or even through a cover letter. Education, you need some spacing there too. For state competition and advertising art. This is like super interesting to me, and I'm like, what? Tell me more. Game and graphic design program, like what? Like, I want to know about those things more. And it's not anywhere in your resume at the bottom. Relevant experience. So this is confusing. So like, why is it a relevant experience section and then a work experience? Like your work experience should be relevant, right? So this is this is really, really odd. And then I don't know how this is actually relevant experience. This is like, you went to a TwitchCon, you went to a PAX East, unless you volunteered there or did something there. So this is again, kind of weird. And then some extracurricular stuff. Okay. so. Huh, what do I say in general about this? And I feel like I've been already very harsh on you, Alex. I'm very sorry, but I also want you to succeed and I want you to get a job in eSports because I know you care about it and you're like, I would love to work alongside you because I know you're an awesome guy and you work hard. Just doesn't come, you're just not coming across well on the resume. So first, get more experience. Do a lot of volunteer things. Um, be intentional about what you're doing in Lola and figure out like, 
uh, how to grow in those positions, right? If you really want to grow social media, like there's ways the Lola Twitter is not growing and it's not being posted. And there's so much more you can do with that. So if you really want to learn how to video edit and do social media stuff and social media market, or even interact with fans on social media, on Twitter, get that experience and earn that experience yourself. There's a lot of other volunteer ways you can do things with different organizations. Go on hitmarker.com, which I'm an affiliate. Go hit the, go create a new account in the, in the description, video description. Um, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah. Gain more experience and be intentional with the experience that you're trying to gain, especially if you want to do it fast. Yeah. Really cut the stuff because you're just listing the things that you did rather than like the really important things. And I think you're just sending me a general resume. So what I also think you need to do is figure out what you actually want to do in esports, because this resume shows no direction in that. And as a person that if you really want to figure out what to do in esports and you don't know, and you just want to get into esports, well then just pick one thing or pick like five things or three things and then make three different resumes or like find three different situations where you can do that. Go find a volunteer job and be like, Hey, I want to be a social media manager and then do that. And then realize you hate it. That's okay. But that's, that's very useful information and you'll learn things about social media that will help you and your next endeavor where you're like, Hey, I want to be a content creator. Oh, I, I remember all this stuff. Like I need to market my YouTube video on Twitter or I need to market my Twitch stream on Twitter or Instagram or TikTok. So you're going to learn things from even those, those uh, endeavors that you cut or you hate it. So you got to experiment and figure out what you want to do and find those experiences and then figure out like, if you actually want to do those. And then once you do, you got to figure out like what, inf what, um, qualifications you need, right. And then focus on those. So then you go on like hitmarker.net or you go on. Like I've even done this when there's not many esports jobs. I look at professional jobs that are outside the esports industry, like and just see like, hey, what is an event? What does uh, event coordinating do? And then find those bullet points and be like, okay, I looked up event coordinator, and it involved sponsorships, or it involved uh, planning budget and schedule. I have none of that experience. Where am I going to find that experience? How am I going to go find that experience? I'm going to watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos and learn about it and see what other people have done. I'm going to talk to people and do it, like informational interviews with people to understand like how they do those kind of things. And then I'm going to find work and volunteer work doing those things. Or you realize, holy crap, like I've been doing this in my IMS supply job. So then you suddenly tailor your resume to be like, I know how to do this and talk a language that esports understands to show that you know how to do those kind of things, right? So I think the big things again, like get more experience and figure out what you want to do. And then from there, um, that's where your resume is suffering from. It's less of the formatting and the making a good resume. It's more uh, lacking experience to really talk about your resume. All right. Thanks, Alec. I'm really sorry if I like ripped on your resume too hard, but again, like I said before, I really want you to do well, uh, especially because I know you and like I care about everyone that puts in their resume. Like I really want you guys to find your esports dream. So, thank you so much, Alec.